Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new pair of beta channel builds for this week, double two six two one and double two six two four point one six one zero, which Microsoft um, made available on the 13th of April with the update KB50252299. Now there are one or two changes and improvements um, that have been made available, which are worth mentioning for today's video. So if you are interested, uh, the first um, improvement or change is for build 22624, where Microsoft is now testing presence sensing in the beta channel. Microsoft mentions that they are now introducing new presence sensor privacy settings and APRs. So if you have a device with compatible presence sensors, so take note of that, you need uh, the compatible sensors, else this feature will not work. Uh, they say you can now manage your privacy and block and or allow certain apps from accessing these sensors. Now Microsoft does mention from a privacy point of view that no images or metadata is collected by Microsoft and all processing is done locally on the device hardware to maximize your privacy. Now as we can see um, from the screenshot provided, you will find these settings under settings, privacy and security, present sensing, but as mentioned, only if your device supports presence sensing. And Microsoft carries on to say app developers with devices with compatible presence sensors can target apps to request and read user presence information after requesting a human presence capability. So presence sensing now being tested in the beta channel build 2264 for this week. Moving on to the next um, improvement, and this is uh, made available for both builds, 2261 and 2264, and we have seen this previously on the channel, which is now in the beta channel, where insiders will begin to see a new toggle under settings, Windows update, for getting the latest updates as soon as they are available. And this is used in the beta channel to allow insiders to switch to the enablement package. Now, Microsoft describes this process and just to go through this, um, if you are affected, um, insiders in the beta channel who are on build 22621 and toggle this on will get updated to build 22624 via the enablement package. Insiders in the beta channel already on build 2264 and toggle uh, this on will see a Windows configuration update offered via Windows update that is designed to help um, Microsoft make sure this new toggle is connected to their back-end services correctly. So that's just basically testing their um, actual services um, when it comes to their back-end services. And basically, um, if you are already on build 2264, this configuration update introduces nothing new for insiders. So just take note of that. And then um, with the so-called improvements out the way, um, we also get um, fixes that have rolled out. Now, the first fix um, is for build 2264, where Microsoft says they fixed an underlying issue, uh, which was causing a noticeable, a noticeable increase in Explorer.exe, which is basically the shell um, of Windows, which um, is responsible for your start menu, your taskbar, your file explorer, and so on, where um, it was crashing in the last flight for some insiders. So that's a bit of a crash fix. And then a fix for both builds um, has rolled out. This update addresses a compatibility issue. This occurs because of unsupported use of the registry and that also rolled out to the stable version of Windows 11. So obviously that's a issue now that's making its way and rearing its head across all the different um, builds and channels of Windows 11. And then we get a couple of known issues. And if you are interested, um, I'll leave a link down below to the release notes if you'd like some more info. So that's more or less what's new. Uh, for this week uh, in the beta channel for builds 2261 and 2264. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.